all right so now that we have completed page layouts and we have understood how the layout looks and how we can modify or tweak and make some changes to it let's look at list views now so whenever we click on a tab or an object tab like when we click on the contact tab or when we click on the covid counts tab we see this section coming up that shows us the list of records right so so this section is called your list view page so here you have different list views available if i go ahead and click on all this shows you all the records that have been created for the covid count object all right and if you see there's some basic informations here like seven items are present there are seven records sorted by the covid count name so you see this is ascendingly sort if i just click on this item here this will be sorted descending right and then you have something called filtered by all covid counts which is which means it's showing all the covid count records and then it says that it was updated a few seconds ago right so that's the basic information you get and here you have all the list of different list views available right so the recently viewed is the current pinned list so if you want to pin a list that means if, if whenever you open this particular page if you want to see a specific list view you can just go to that list view and click on this pin icon here and then that particular list view would be pinned right let's go back to the recently viewed the recently viewed shows all the records that you recently opened for this particular object right so if we were to go to contacts you'd see under all contacts, you have a lot of contacts available, but recently what, what you viewed was one of them. So if I go to the recently viewed contacts or if I go to the recently viewed list, you'll see that this particular record was opened. If you see, there are multiple list views available here, right? So these are all different kinds of list views that show or, you know, display a different kind of records, di different sets of records. When I say different sets of records, maybe some different attributes, but actually the records are same. It's just about how the filtering is done, right? We'll look into that in a while. So if you see birthdays this month, is basically all the contacts where the birthday is falling to this particular month, uh, right? Similarly, then you have something called my contacts. So this would kind of show you all the contacts that you have created. You see this alias, H Mahe, that is my alias, right? So the records that I have created. If, you, if we go to uh, new this week, this will kind of show us all the records that have been created this week, right? Filtered by all contacts based on the created date, right? So based on your requirements, based on your filter conditions, based on your use case, you can create different list views, right? How do you create a different list view? Now we very well know that when we click on the tab and we click on the new button here, this opens up the page that creates a record in the system, right? But we don't want to create a record, we want to create a new list view. So for making changes or doing any kind of uh, changes on or customization on the list view this gear icon right here is the place to go so you see there are different actions available here these are all the list view controls we can very well just check all of them one by one so the first thing would be i can create a new list view by clicking on this new here so i'll just give it a name i'll call it covid count records for admins the api name comes up automatically and here you have certain options who can see this list view either you can create it entirely for yourself this is something of a personalization or else you can also go ahead and set it to the second option that is all users can see the list view right if you say all users can see the list view this will be available to everyone so let's say we are logged in as the user from the support manager profile that guy will also be able to see it all right and if you want to share this list view to some specific kind of people you can do it with the third option we'll be looking at this in a while all right for now what i'll do is i'll just show you the first two options let's say i mark it as all only i can see this list view all right and let's let's click on save i'll just update the casing for the name and let's click on save so you see the new list view has been created and if you see this filter option is automatically opened up if you want to add some filters so this is currently saying filter by owner my covid counts if i want to see all the records i can go ahead and click on all and click on done and say save so I've added a filter here, right? Now let's start looking at things one by one. So first of all, let's go back to our setup icon. We no, now know how to create a new list view. What if I, what if I wanted to create a new list view, which which kind of resembles this list view? I could go ahead and clone it, right? So the way just similar to the way how we clone records, how we clone profiles, we can also clone list views. All right, that's the clone part of it. What's the third one? Let's say I made some typo and I want to make some changes to the name. I can just go ahead and update the name. I'll just call it administrators and I'll click on save. So you see the list view name has updated. It's been renamed, right? Let's go back to the gear icon. What's the next thing? That's sharing settings, right? So this opens up the same section that we save when we click on a new, when we create a new list view, the same section, right? Where, whether you can see it, all users can see it, or you want to share it, right? So these list views can be shared to specific people we'll look into this in a while let's skip this for now so sharing settings we'll look into it in a while what's the next thing it's edit list filter so if i click on edit list filter you see this icon right here opens up this is a shortcut if you don't want to 
go from here you can just click on this icon right here and reach the filter section now what is this filter for you can add different kinds of filters all right let's go back here and see what what are the two other options available select fields to display and delete so if you want to delete this particular list view you can just click on delete and it will be deleted all right and if you want to what are select fields to display this is nothing but all the fields that you want to display on your table right here so i'll just go ahead and add some values here active cases day category entry date let me remove active cases from here let's add some more information let's say total cases right and if i want to position them specifically i can use this arrow right here name then total cases then i want entry date and then i want the day category all right and let's click on save now that i chose four fields to be displayed you see that table is showing me four different fields all right now what if i wanted a filter or what if i wanted to see only those records which for which the day category is orange right how would i do that i would just go to this gear icon and click on the edit list filters or i could just go to this particular icon here and add a filter to it right and when you click on add a filter you get all the fields available here and what is our category what is our uh, criteria the day category should be equal to orange and let's click on done and let's click on save so once you save it you see only the relevant records show up so that's what list view filters are for right what if i want to see all the records which are either of day category orange or they have been created today when i say created today their entry date is equal to today right so i can just add a filter and i can just say entry date equals i can just say today that's a keyword in salesforce and i can say done but if i click on save here no records are being shown up right that means actually it's matching all of these filters but we kind of want either one or two right so if you want to modify the logic what we can do is we can use this add filter logic you see by default it uses the and condition but we can modify this to say or and let's click on save so now you'll see two records have opened up one that was created today and the one that has the day category orange make sense let's say we also let's remove these filters and let's try to add one more uh, use case here and let's try to see how list views work cool so the next next filter that we want to add is all the records whose total cases are greater than 6000 all right and not and actually either those cases whose total cases are more than 6000 or the day category is orange all right how do how do i do that i'll click on add filter first of all i'll go to total cases let's go to total cases i'll call it greater than 6000 right so i can just enter the value 6000 here click on done what's the second filter the day category should be equal to orange so I'll just go ahead and select orange here, click on done. And since I want either or condition, I would just go ahead and edit the filter condition. And I'll say one or two and click on save. All right. So you see all those whose total cases are greater than 6000 or the day category is orange, right? Now, what if there were three conditions? Let's say the total cases should be greater than 6000. The day category should be orange, either or of this, but the entry date should be today's date. How would we do that so i would add one more filter here and i would say entry date should be equal to all right now i have three conditions here and if i try to save this this will tell me that the filters could not be applied because we did not specify anything for the third condition right so here what we need to say is either one or two and three correct and here we need to justify that we need either one or two we don't want one or two and three right it should not be like it should not be like this right that changes how the evaluation will be done so we would have to add some parenthesis to justify which logic is associated to what numbers so one or two comes in uh, under the same parenthesis which which means either total cases should be greater than 6000 or the day category should be greater than should be equal to orange but alongside that the entry date should be today's date right let's click on save and before clicking on save what record do you think will be returned let's see so you see just this record is coming up right and how, how do we justify that I entry date should be equal to today right so entry date should be equal to today there's just one record that has the entry date of today's date right that's why this record is popping up and out of one or two which one is evaluating to true the day category is not equal to orange but the total cases are greater than 6000 right so one is evaluating to true and three is also sufficing the condition which is why you just see this particular record coming up all right similarly if you have multiple filters you can do something like and four 
or five or six and something of this sort everything will work here it's 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 standard normal mathematics right here right uh, you just have to use parentheses to uh, assign priority to what kind of evaluation should take place all right comfortable with list list view filters great let me just remove these filters and let's see all the records again let's click on save so we are good with filters now right so here we have looked at almost everything apart from the sharing settings now let's see all the symbols right here so first of all you have a search available this search right here is called the global search and this search right here is called the local search right so this global search would search anything if you want to search Himanshu as the user you can get that information here if you want to find COVID count 0001 you would be able to find it here I just have to add a hyphen so you see this record is coming up here that's the global search it kind of searches almost any and everything but this local search is restricted to the elements or data that's available here right so how what do I search let's say I type in orange here so you see this record is coming up here the orange record what if I type in CC let's see what happens so you see all the records of the CC keyword in it so these records are showing up and when I hover over it it says entry date and total cases are not searchable use filters or sort on these fields fields instead instead right so date fields are not searchable and formula fields are not searchable right so if you want to do something like you know uh, 03-09-2021 something of this sort won't won't work right because these things are not searchable the date fields or formula fields that's why it, it just gives you the an idea that you can just search with other fields that are available and if you actually want to you know refer entry date you can just use this sorting instead of searching so if you're looking for something that has a date and you want to see the latest one you can probably use the sorting instead of searching that's what it says right so this is the local search right here apart from that we already looked into the setting icon then there's the view section how do you want to display it currently it's looking like a simple table if you want to have a split view wherein you have the table on the left and you can open the records on the right so right now what happens if I click on the record you see the record gets opened up and my previous view is destroyed right basically I have to if I want to go to the list view I'll have to click on this tab again and reach here right but if we go to the split view what you see is the list view comes on the left and when you click on a record that opens on the right right it, it saves the user clicks and it, it, it's a good experience overall right let's do something let's go back and click on this icon and change this to table again so this is the table view again that's how you change it now what's the other view the Kanban view is there so Kanban view has kind of a pictorial representation wherein you can summarize your information so you can summarize information based on uh, the fields that are available here and you can also group them by different fields right so the day category is the option that's available because it's a pick list field so let's click on save and just see a dummy of how things look right so since I have some I've summarized based on the day category so you see there are six records which do not have any day category there's one which with which has the value orange right and what is the summation of tot summarization of total uh, basically this these are the groups and the summarization is nothing but the total active cases count so you see 87740 so this count you can very well see so if you wanted to understand how many how many records have the orange category and what's the total active cases the summation of it this would be the number to see right and there's one more interesting thing here you you don't have to you know go inside the record what you can also do is you can move records here and there you can do something like this right and you see how numbers change so if you move it here which means you're kind of assigning the records to the red red category red day category right so you can do things like this and you see it's it's a pretty cool view and this is more more helpful for you know your higher management or people who like to see numbers and who want to understand things visually and who have to just you know look at numbers and pictorial representation to get a overall idea of the project that's when this comes in handy right and these these uh, pick list options can be defined based on whatever field that you choose it could be if you add you know 10 pick list fields in your object you could probably summarize it by some some other field right right now we have the day category field that's why we have summarized it by day category all right and you see how the count also dynamically changes if I switch this back here you see none has three and red has two if I just move this here to orange orange gets two and this is one so this summary information is pretty cool and pretty handy right it uh, it needs no efforts a, a, sim, a salesforce admin can configure it but the client feels like you know they've, they've really achieved something and they've actually gotten something very cool 
So if you click on refresh, the data gets refreshed and you say it says it says it is up it is updated a few seconds ago. So let's say some kind of updates happened from the back end or maybe some other user was working on some record. When you click on refresh, you'll get the latest information here. All right. So let's switch back to the COVID count records for administrator and pin this view. So every time we refresh the page, this list view will open up now because we have pinned it. See, this is opening up, right? So that's about the refresh button. And what's the next one? That's the pencil icon that we've already seen. We see the pencil icon available here, right? It's for inline editing. Now, when we click on the pencil icon, you know, wherever we hovered last and click on the pencil icon, that field becomes av available to be edited, right? Now you cannot edit these fields. You see the lock sign? I think you already know the reason why, because this is a formula field, right? And auto number, auto number fields, the name field is also not editable, but these two fields are. So if I want to add some category here, I can just go ahead and do it. And I can even do mass updates. That's amazing, right? You don't have to go to the record. I want to add some values here. I can do that. I want to update some existing values. I can very well do that as well. So if I go ahead and add some entry date, let's add some past dates here and let's add some future date here and let's keep these two blank. So you see, I've updated six values. And if I click on save, all my records will be saved. And if I click on refresh, see the records stay here. Cool. That's the pencil icon. What's the next one? The next one is the chart representation. So if you want to have a visual representation, you can create a chart here. It, it's, a, it's, it's a pictorial representation of your data. So let's just say sum of active cases. Let's let's or let's call it COVID count chart. All right. So you can have a different different options available. So we'll go for donor chart. You can just count the summation of the total cases and you can group it by day category. Right. Let's see how this looks like. I've just randomly chosen figures and number values here. Let's see how this look, looks like. Right. So if you see for day category red, you have some you have 23, 100 and for orange, you have 71340. That's the total count for red and orange. If you want to make some changes here, you can just go ahead and click on the setting icon and make these changes. If you want to see this as a vertical bar chart, you see a fancy animation comes up and this is converted to a fancy, uh, vertical bar chart. Same if you want to change it to a horizontal one, this switches horizontal so these are the total cases if you hover over it you get the information as well just not just the pictorial information but actual percentage information so you see 75.5 percent of 94k and then this is the day category x-axis and y-axis right and if you want to modify the attributes you can click on the edit chart and that same page opens up and you can change things here if, if you want to go for average click on save and now you'll see the average right so the numbers have changed cool so you can have a chart available for your list views. And I think we already looked at the filter section. So we are good with that. Great. The only item pending is the sharing settings. So, so let's look at sharing settings in the next lecture.